all right guys and with that i'd like to welcome you to this all new video finally a video of myself in 2025 on this channel of course at the tech channel 4 make sure to like and subscribe because today we want to do a very very crazy thing because we want to use my mac pro 5.1 which is currently running martin lowe's open core package to be able to run uh, open core with the open core legacy patcher because in my opinion i think that there are several more um, use abilities to um, use the open core legacy patcher than if using the martin lowe's open core package which was better in the past but uh, right now I don't use the Mac Pro 5.1, which originally is a 4.1 from 2009 um, as my daily drive because I have this MacBook on which I also record this right here with a capture card. So I hope that we won't lose any uh, video data here. Anyway, make sure to like and subscribe. And um, first things first, I do not guarantee that this will work on your computer. So all on your own risk, but anyway, let's start. Um, right here I have the open core patcher application and I need to unlock this right here and while this is installing additional components um, I want to tell you something because I had some problems with Windows 10 on my Mac Pro 5.1 here with uh, Martin Lowe's open core package so uh, I hope that we can fix this by using the open core legacy patcher and Windows 11 I know that I will lose all my Windows data, but um, like I said, you should save all of your data. I didn't do this with my Windows stuff, so I think that all that is on my um, on my Windows uh, drive, my Windows NVMe SSD, is just um, some Minecraft worlds for my streams on uh, Flex 200. I do some channel content. You might uh, notice this with my dialect. Anyway. Right now in our computer here is just the external SSD with uh, Mohari which we are using right now to install Open Core Legacy Patcher to an internal SSD which I use to share data between Windows and uh, Mac OS due to some um, partition and uh, formatting limitations this is necessary but on this um, SSD we want to install the Open Core Patcher, patcher. so for this we need to build and install open core by clicking this button right here all right i saved some of my data right here just so there was a little cut in the video but a save is safe and um, i think we can start right now with uh, installing open core to disk you can see it right here i don't think that this is a 7.1 but let's go and we do not want to install this on the ssd that is running macOS mojave which is the 256.1 gigabytes. We want to install this on this one right here, on the EFI of this disk. So we want to reboot as well. And uh, thankfully I use a capture card. So right here the uh, record won't stop. So you can see all of these steps. And then we should have installed the um, open core package onto open core legacy patcher package onto the share ssd and if this worked we also uh, won't be able anymore to boot into mojave because we can do this with uh, open core legacy patcher but you might hear it um, the mac pro is starting again so there are two options right now option number one it is not selected as the start volume then uh, things are getting a bit tricky because we need to change the internal graphics card because we need the um, boot screen for macOS but I hope that we will see the boot picker from uh, open core or at least something right here because otherwise things are getting very tricky so unfortunately this didn't work at all but there is um, also this way to check it Oh, this is selected as the start volume. That is not good because we want to use the open core patcher as our start volume, the open core legacy patcher. So unfortunately, I did a little uh, mistake right here with the settings. And um, we need to add two things right here, the NVMe booting 
so we can install it um, our Windows 11 on the NVMe as well as use the macOS Monterey on the NVMe which I already have and also here in advanced we want to select this one right here the um, boot screen maybe this will work and um, what do we have right here Ground security okay let's keep this like it is and uh, model spoofing as well boot patching also and right here this as well okay so right now we can um, press return build and install it again and then reinstall it um, onto our Samsung Evo SSD right here disk 0 S1 so um, plus it means like partition 1 reboot so right here um, we have the boot picker of OpenCore which we created with the uh, second check mark in the uh, settings for OpenCore I can only see this on my uh, capture card right now so um, if we see this on our monitor which I did uh, earlier with an external cable I didn't uh, recognize this because it didn't work recording um, we need to use the boot picker EFI right here then press the um, button on the left of your keyboard it's control or uh, strings or steuerung on the windows keyboard then we can see that there's a little circle right here and we want to use this as our normal um, boot volume that should start with this mac and because i talk complete nonsense in this following part here i do a voiceover and what you see right now on the screen is already the opencore legacy patcher boot picker and um, to achieve this uh, mac booting into the opencore patcher we need to select it as a start volume which we did earlier and um, my gpu which is an rx 570 do not have this um, apple boot screen so um, for this we need to do this um, check mark here with the open core um, patcher earlier so that we can see this um, boot screen i did this earlier also as well and i had a little problem because I put the wrong NVMe inside my Mac, so there's just one. But right now you will see this Mac booting into a um, Mac OS Monterey here, which I named this. And hopefully this will work. I don't know why the background is green. I really hope that this is um, due to a problem with the capture card. Mm -hmm. But hopefully it's not green anymore right now. Now it's black. So right now we can boot into a uh, macOS Monterey, which is great. It is um, not causing any problems at all at the moment because with the old OpenCore package that I had, um, Monterey will crash um, in like 10 minutes at least, or at most. So anyway, we got this working, we've got the patcher working. So in next video, we want to install Windows 11 on this machine, which is a very, very um, uncommon way to do this. Or we need to do some workarounds because this Mac Pro isn't supported by Windows anymore instead of like Windows 11 and uh, Windows 10. So anyway, just leave a like, give me this thumbs up button, subscribe and we will see us in the next one, in the next video, which is coming very very soon. I hope that I don't talk um, too much stupid stuff so I can cut this easily and we will see us next time. Leave a like and subscribe and write in the comments which operating source system I should install on my Mac, iMac from 2008 which I also got standing year round which is our next project.